Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the Advanced Geometry series with ComSol Multiphysics. In this video, we are going to explore how exactly we can create this kind of geometry. Sometimes we require to create this kind of geometry and this is a geometry which is not possible to draw using simple chamfer or fillet option. We need to use advanced technique like tangent to draw this kind of geometry. I will demonstrate this particular one today. But before I move on with today's technical discussion, I would like to make an announcement. We have initiated a service where we help researchers to develop their ComSol model. And if you want to avail this service, write to me in the email ID given in the description box. I will set up video call with you and try to resolve your project. Many people have actually benefited from this service. So if you want to avail this service, write to me quickly. So now uh, let us proceed with today's topic, which is creation of this particular geometry. I have already created this one, but it will be easier to you, for you to follow if I do it again and you try to do it with the video. So initially what I need to do is I need to take a rectangle because you have seen the particular geometry I am going to create that has a rectangular part. So say the dimension is 34 and say the height is 2. So if I click on build selected so you can see I have taken this particular rectangle. Now what I need to do is I need to add a circle. So say the radius of the circle is 6.5 and uh, what I do is I create 180 sector angle that is the half circle and uh, also I make a rotation of minus 45 degree. Actually, I want to tilt it because if you, if you see the geometry, there is a, this is a tilted geometry. So if I draw a circle and tilt it by 45 degree, then I have an option of creating this particular edge. And that is what I am trying to do now. So as I have mentioned, this is 45 degree and do one thing let us create a layer of 2 meter i have already shown how exactly the layer is to be created i have created a video i'll put that link in the description box so that you can follow the layer option and it will give you a better insight so now all the things are set let us just click on build selected and only thing is i need to move this particular circle to the right uh, I mean the right position not in the left because uh, our bend is in the right side so how much should I move it I should move it by the length of this particular rectangle which is 34 so I put 34 and click again so you can see this is already shifted in the right but I need this edge to be here and that's why I need to make a movement in the y direction or the negative y direction and it would be minus 4.5 uh, where from this minus 4.5 is coming see 6.5 minus of this layer distance this will give me a accurate position of the half circle now you can see we have a edge so we have started making this particular edge. Now what I do, I need to create this particular circle and how to do it. For this one, let us create another circle. So what I can do is I can make a duplicate of it and change the dimension. So let, let, let the dimension be 1.75 dimension of the smaller circle say 1.75 is the dimension if you see this is i mean this dimension is shorter smaller than the bigger circle 
that's why we have created a smaller we have taken a smaller dimension now what I do is I also need to make a rotation here so yeah we are creating it here so this is the smaller circle and I need to make a shift because I want the circle to be here and here also let us create a layer of 0.85 and again it will be rotated by minus 45 degree because this circle has to be tilted again it doesn't matter because uh, this is the entire circle we will be taking 360 degree so once we do it 360 degree then the rotation doesn't matter so just try to create it yeah we have actually created it so here is the circle now what we can do if you look at this particular structure so this particular curve we have created by the bigger half circle this particular one we have actually created by the smaller circle but so somehow we have to make this I mean we have to connect this portion with the smaller one and that connection we can actually do by taking tangent if you right click on geometry you will get an option tangent so we will make use of this particular one so this is nothing but a tangent which we have studied in our plus 2 level so let's just try to visualize it so this tangent can be created by edge to edge option that means we will have two circles or part of the circle we will select the edges and then click on build selected it will create the tangent so let us try to do it say this particular one and the other edge is this particular one the inner circle I click on build selected so it has created the tangent let us make another tangent so I right click and choose the option tangent now the tangent will be between this bottom one I mean the inner circle of this and the below part of the inner circle so this is the first edge and this is the second edge if I click on build selected it will actually create this particular two tangents have been created now what I can do is I can right click on geometry and there is an option of conversion convert to solid so that we can actually do and we can actually convert the entire part yeah we build so it has created solid of the entire part now we can choose an option delete entities we will be deleting rest of the things which we don't need see this particular portions we actually don't need because we need this this particular one so let us just delete this part try to delete it yeah you can see we have actually deleted it so after deletion again let us choose convert into solid and we choose the entire part click on build selected so we have converted into solid again now we can have a union so that the inner in the boolean uh, transformation we have union boolean and partitions so now we make a union of this so that this inner lines the edges go up so we need to check here uncheck here keep interior boundaries we don't need interior boundaries so we uncheck here and click on build all objects so you can see this particular geometry is created so here we learned about the tangent and how exactly the option tangent has to be utilized this is a particular portion sometimes we can have we, we, we may need to do a mirror of this for that what you need to do is you need to choose the option 
mirror you will have option mirror here say we want mirror we want to mirror it okay while we mirror it we have to keep the initial object so see this particular mirroring is created so this mirror is done with respect to this x direction so in the horizontal direction if we make it in the y direction say y equal to 1 then we may create like this mirroring so like this way we can create different kind of geometry so this could be like a helical micro channel which has two different say in multiplex detection of uh, biosensing we may need to create this kind of channel so what what may happen this could be a particular channel through which your reagents are coming and then it is going to two different channels so there may be one reaction happening here and the other reaction happening here so this kind of geometry we come across in different microfluidic systems and that's why I thought of creating a video on it i hope this video was useful and you learned something from this video if so i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel because it would give us more motivation to upload videos